lost chance. Go. Okay, so now we're going to fit the shelves using floating shelf brackets. And these are about 110 mil long and they just simply fix into the wall with some raw plugs. Have a look down on the floor. You can see our nine floating shelf brackets and our nine raw plugs and our nine washers. As we turn the shelf to the back, you'll see the holes that we drilled using a 12 mil drill bit. And what I've done underneath the shelf, it's got a bit of masking tape, squared the center lines down to the bottom of the shelf, okay? Then just put masking tape on the walls where the underside of the shelf lines up to. So let's put that in position. We've obviously put the level on the top to make sure it's level. And all we've done is you square those lines down onto this part of the masking tape. So the top of this masking tape is the underside of the shelf. And this line here squared down is the center of the hole. So all we need to do from that point on is come up the thickness, half the thickness of the shelf because our hole is dead center, which is 19 mil. So from this line here, we're going to just come up 19 mil, 19, 19, and mark that on. So that's our lines struck up. And then we're just going to mark 19 mil up from the top of this masking tape. So that's all our crosshairs done, ready to drill the holes. Okay, so next thing we need to do is just mark the crosshair with something sharp. You can even just use a long screw or a bradle. For the sake of this, just because most people have a long screw on them. Line up to the center, give it a tap. And what this will do is um, stop the drill bit from skating around, giving you a nice centre hole. Let's get something to catch the dust. Right, so next step is to use my SDS drill, get it on the SDS setting. So there we go, hammer drill, SDS drill. 10 mil drill bit. And what we wanna do is just find the centre hole. Before we start, I've got myself something to catch the dust. to go the whole length of the drill bit just enough for the raw plug which is about 60 mil so there we go holes drilled let's get the raw plugs in next thing we need to do is to get our floating shelf brackets on and they simply just screw into place using a an adjustable spanner. This is actually eight mil. So if you had an eight mil spanner, rather than the um, adjustable, that worked just fine. And just do as much as you can by hand. Depending on the wall, if you've got a soft wall, you can always use a washer. In this case, it's nice and tough, so I'm not gonna use my washer. I'm gonna nip that up nice and tight as much as I can by hand before I get my adjustable on. Set that up to this, there's a little slot in the center. And just keep it going, just keep going around. There we go. And if you, if you have a look from the side, you can probably see that slightly pointing up ever so slightly. These thread, these threads are tapered. So if I wanted to aim down, all I need to do is give it a half turn to the right and it should aim down. You'll see as I tighten it up, it'll be going up and down. You see it going up and down. 
and that is planned, that's how they've been made for the adjustment. Get nice and tight now, which is good. The hardest part about floating shelves is trying to get your fix in. One against the wall is always a little bit tricky because you can't spin your spanner. Let's just do half and half. So that needs to aim down slightly more. So I'm going to give it another half spin. There we go. All three done. Now we're ready to get the floating shelf on. There we go. I can tell it's really tight. So I'm not going to knock that in my hand. So I've got myself a little block, hammer, and just go for it. Other side, then that's it. Yep, yep. Job done. Nice and tight. One flo floating shelf. One floating shelf. And just do that for the rest of them. Right, so far we've got two in, one more to go. All going so well. Blow my kiss. There we go, so all done, looking great. Really simple to fix. Just as long as you've got the right tools, it's really simple.